welcome to our online global self-awakening retreat. I'm excited because uh, we're going to be together for nine consecutive days. Um, <clears throat> and I'm curious, like everybody else, how the energy is going to get built up. Uh, originally, when I was designing uh, the retreat, uh, we thought maybe we have a day off in between or two days off in between. And then uh, after contemplating on it for a while, we decided that it's best to have the retreat uh, every day in a row, so we build up the energy. And by cutting it off halfway through, it's possible, it's like you're building up the energy into this balloon, and then you don't wanna, sometimes you don't want, wanna let it go, you just want to keep pushing it and see how far it goes uh, to its highest potential. And what happens is when the energy is building up and you stay with it, you stay in this unified field, you stay in this bubble that you have uh, created and been a part of it for it to build up, then you give yourself a chance to keep your vibrations in a higher frequency. And when you're able to keep your vibrations in a higher frequency and you sustain it for a nice period of time, then you really give yourself a chance for things to change in cellular memory. Old patterns disappear and new information, a brand new consciousness, awareness takes place. But like anything in life, you have to create the right environment for growth. It's like anything. If you're farming and you're planting, you're growing herbs or fruits or whatever, you have to create the right environment. Uh, the temperature has to be right. The humidity has to be right. You have to water and fertilize your products, your farming products and take care of them and making sure that they don't get eaten up or walked over by animals uh, to break the branches. So you have to protect yourself and the environment of your spiritual growth when you're doing this work if you want to get positive results. Otherwise, you can be running around and doing a lot of different practices and you don't get any results and it just res it ends into frustration and um, you give up and we don't want that we want to be steady we don't need to go too fast but we go steady and we stay with the energy um, when we're doing this work a lot of this is going to be in in a way that it's not visible so we may be after a couple hours being in this energy um, I would recommend afterwards you take you pause and take a little bit of time by yourself and not jump back into uh, the world and picking up the phone, calling, uh, getting engaged with domestic matters, just or getting in front of the TV or the computer and getting involved with the news, kind of allow things to kind of settle in and take a little bit of time, stay in silence, and let this energy that we're building up to do its work. And Give it the opportunity for transformation. Uh, there's a little bit of an echo I'm hearing from, I don't know where it's coming from. So 
I'd like to welcome you all. Um, I'm happy we're here together. We have this opportunity. Um, I do have people come to me and feel like this is a bad time and uh, this is a disaster. What is happening around the world with COVID-19 and um, its effects as far as the pressure is put on a lot of people emotionally. There's a lot of breakdowns and also financially and eco economically. I mean, besides the fact of the dangers of being, a, being exposed to a virus, uh, there's a lot of other things that a lot of people are concerned about. But I've learned throughout my life to also look at the positive sides of whenever something happens and it seems like it's uh, a disaster or it's an unpleasant event or a situation, I've also learned to look at the positive sides of it. Uh, I would call it to turning the, the poison into medicine. And being able to look at, okay, what kind of blessings, what kind of gifts this situation that has forced me to stay home or not be active or uh, like now what is going on, what does it offer? What, what does it bring to me? How can I turn this into my advantage? And I see a golden opportunity right now for all of us, for humanity, to transform those who are ready, who, those who are willing, and they're the seekers of the truth. This is a golden opportunity to go through a transformation and use this opportunity to do inner work and reflecting, and going deeper within, instead of being focused on the other world. So, for those of you who are with me for the first time, and uh, we, you have not been at my academy, or any of my workshops, or teachings, or lectures, whether in California, or in Europe, um, let me just briefly give you an idea of uh, what my teachings are about. So this teaching is not a belief. Absolutely, it's not a belief. It's not dogmatic. It's not based on a set of rules of do this or do that. Um, it's not a religion, and it's not a cult. And in what I encourage in this teachings is <clears throat> focus on only that which is your own experience. Only trust your own direct experience. Not what anybody's telling you, or you've read this, or you've read that, or it's because everyone's believing in one way or not. Because that is knowledge, and it's not knowing. There's a big difference between knowledge and knowing. And if you do cultivate this in your psyche, and you use this as your motto, then you have created an environment for growth because you have expanded your mind and you have created the opportunity to free yourself from the slavery that majority of human beings on this planet are under. It's a form of sleep, uh, slavery. 